friends, welcome back to another video. Today's special guest helper is Beaner. Yes, this is my little Beaner dog. But today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some kitchen DIYs using objects you may already have in your kitchen. So if that's something that floats your boat, stick around and let's get to it. You tell them. Beaner, what do you want to say? Subscribe to my mommy's channel. channel. All right, guys. Here, right, we go. guys. here we go. Okay. First project. I took a skillet from my own kitchen. A non-stick skillet. I want you to remember that. I spray painted it black. Brought it back into the craft shed. And was... Well, you'll see here in a second. I'm going to apply this chalk to a transfer that says, make yourself at home, clean my kitchen. So I fuzzed it and I'm applying it to the center, but I wasn't just quite happy with the placement. So I kind of look at it and I'm like, eh, uh, I need to reposition it, which is a great thing about our transfers. They're self-adhesive. You can peel them up. And remember I said non-stick skillet? Yeah. I don't know why I pressed it back down. And there come the spray paint. So, after I banged my head against the wall, it was time for my husband to step in. I tried sanding it. That didn't work. So, my sweet husband, Jeff, said, let me get my wire wheel brush thingy. And that's what he did. So, let this be a lesson that if you decide to do this DIY, be sure to remove all the Teflon from the skillet. So, back to the drawing board. I spray painted it again. Stuck down my transfer. And by the way, the transfer was not harmed. Our transfers are durable. And watch this. I was holding my breath. I'm like, please. 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 Yes, I was so excited. It came out perfect. The transfer wasn't harmed. So now I can finally begin to decor finish decorating it. So I took two pieces of lamb's ear, connected them with a zip tie, and I left it loose because I'm going to insert another zip tie to attach it to the handle of the skillet. I always use zip ties whenever I can because you just get a more secure hold. I added a bow and there she is. And by the way, she has since moved on to a new home. I listed it on Facebook and sold it. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. For the next project, I'm taking this metal kitchen grater or cheese grater that I got at a yard sale. I spray painted it black and we're going to be galvanizing it. So if you've never done a faux galvanizing technique, it's really simple. You start out with your darkest color first. And I'm using uh, Elephant Steel uh, by Waverly. And I'm also using Sterling Silver by Folkart and Silver Lining by Waverly. And it's, I, it's best to use a sponge. I like the little makeup sponges that you get at the Dollar Tree. And you start with your darkest color and you're just going to dab. Not brush, you want to dab. And you're going to build layers as you go. So next, I move on to my second darkest color, which is the steel. And I did not wait for the first layer to dry. I just went right in 
with the steel. Just dab, 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 dab. No rhyme or reason. Don't try to make a pattern out of it. Just dab it on there. And you will continue doing this with the rest of your colors. And if you feel like you need to go back and add some more, that's fine. This turns out so cool. I love this. So as I was doing this uh, DIY, it reminded me of when I was a kid. I remember my grandmother, well, everybody I knew, that this was how you grated everything from cabbage to cheese, everything. And this brought back so many memories of my childhood, watching my grandmother, you know, make um, slaw and, and uh, different things in the kitchen. So this was kind of like a trip down memory lane. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just continuing on dabbing on my different shades of paint with my makeup sponge. And next I cut down some floral foam and I, um, actually I use super glue to attach it to the inside of the grater to make sure it wouldn't go anywhere. And I have three of those little silicone utensils, the really small ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I spray painted those black, wired them together, and stuck them in um, the back of the grater. And I wanted to kind of keep the color palette simple. So I chose these white anemone flowers. And I'm going to cover up the back um, where they are wired together. So I'm just taking some scrap greenery. I'm using be using some eucalyptus. Um, I use a little lamb's ear. And it was really pretty simple actually. Sorry guys, I've got a dog in my lap. She's giving me kisses. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm just finishing putting some greenery in there, filling in the gaps, and just kind of fluffing it around. Now this next part, I think if I had to do it all over again, I probably would have used a smaller piece of ribbon around the middle or maybe not even at all. What do y'all think? I mean, would y'all have added a ribbon to this around the center? Um, I really, I really think I should have cut this in half or made it smaller. But anyway, I added a bow. This is how it turned out. I think it's really, really cute. I love this piece. I think this is my favorite. The last DIY is so simple. I bought this wire basket or bowl, whatever you want to call it, uh, at an online auction. And it was in a box full of other stuff. And luckily, it didn't need a whole lot of anything done to it. Just some basic cleaning and a coat of white spray paint. So I decided just to distress it with a little black chalk paint and one of my stencil brushes from the Dollar Tree. Now, if y'all have made it this far in the video, I want to thank y'all. Um, I left my, you know, mistakes in here on purpose because I wanted to show you guys, you know, crafting isn't always perfect. Everybody makes mistakes, and it's perfectly okay. Just start all over again. It's it's crafting. So anyway, for the bowl, I wanted to keep I wanted to keep it simple. So I just take uh, one of our little chalk chips, and using one of the locally grown minis. God, y'all, these are so cute. They come in a set of twelve. They are all so so adorable. I will leave my link in the description box in case you want to check it out. 
These are so satisfying, y'all. Look at this. You just peel slowly. Ta-da! There we go. I love this. I just drilled a hole in the top of the little chip, attached it with a piece of jute right to the bowl. And that will be so cute as a flower arrangement, or you could put fruit in it. And I love creating these DIYs today, even though I did drive the struggle bus with the skillet. But I do this because I love it, and I love, I, I've discovered I love doing YouTube. I, I like um, the idea that maybe I'm, you know, sparking some creativity in you guys, giving you ideas. So let me know, what do you want to see on this channel? I mean, I'm, I'm open to anything. Do you want to see farmhouse? Do you want to see some pet lover DIYs? Because as y'all know, I love dogs. So be sure to drop me a comment. I, I love communicating with y'all. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and stick around a while. And until next time, y'all. Go get your craft on.